It's a beautiful day in the San Luis Rey watershed. The weather's perfect, so come out and explore all the wonders there are to see. What is a watershed, you ask? Basically, it's a giant basin where water runs off the mountains into a valley and usually down to the ocean. And there are 12 of them in San Diego County. San Luis Rey is one of the largest with over 562 square miles, which includes the 55 mile long San Luis Rey River, Lake Henshaw, Warner Springs Ranch, Palomar Mountain, Bonsall and Valley Center, Fallbrook, Oceanside, and eight Native American tribes. San Luis Rey, Pala, Palma, Rincon, San Pascual, La Jolla, Santa Isabel, and Los Coyotes. Starting in the far east end of the watershed at 6,535 feet above sea level is the highest peak in San Diego County on Hot Springs Mountain and home of the Los Coyotes Indian Reservation. Here you'll find hiking and camping in the pristine wilderness where wildlife abounds. Just below Hot Springs Mountain is Warner Springs Ranch. This area is rich with the history of tribes in the Old West and is filled with lots of fun things to explore. You can go horseback riding on one of the many backcountry trails. You can play a round of golf at the Warner Springs Ranch Resort Golf Club. Sail high above it all in a sailplane ride over scenic Lake Henshaw and some of the other untouched areas of San Diego County. If fishing is more your style, Lake Henshaw offers motorboats for rent with campgrounds and cabins. Near Lake Henshaw is the Old Warner Ranch, recently restored to its former glory. This historic landmark was originally the only trading post between New Mexico and Los Angeles, and later developed into a spot on the Butterfield Overland Mail Stagecoach Line, along with nearby Oak Grove. Warner's Ranch is now a museum and is open to the public on weekends. The San Luis Rey River flows from Lake Henshaw through the Cleveland National Forest and then onto the La Jolla Indian Reservation. The reservation offers camping right along the river in a natural setting, as well as other adventures like zip lining through the trees or using an inner tube to raft down the river. After leaving the La Jolla Reservation, part of the San Luis Rey River is diverted through the Escondido Canal, built in 1895. This canal now brings drinking water to the cities of Escondido and Vista. To the north is Palomar Mountain, once home to the band-tailed pigeon. Palomar, which in Spanish means pigeon roost, is now home to the Palomar Observatory and the Hale Telescope. This 200-inch telescope was the world's largest and most important telescope from 1949 until 1992. The Booker Fire Lookout Tower, just above Old Nate Harrison Grade Road, was a critical tool in spotting forest fires from the San Diego border all the way to the north and is still in use. You can visit the tower today within Palomar Mountain State Park. Palomar Mountain gets more rain than anywhere else in San Diego County, up to 45 inches a year, and has an active fault line, the Lake Elsinore Fault Line, that runs along the southern edge of the mountain. Further to the west is the Rincon Indian Reservation. Stewards of this land for over 10,000 years, this band of Luceno Indians preserved the cultural heritage of their people on this reservation created in 1875 by President Ulysses Grant. Also in this area is the San Pascual Reservation, which was formed in 1910 after they were forcibly moved from their original home in the San Pascual Valley, near the present-day San Diego Safari Park. San Pascual is one of 17 Kumeyaay tribal groups left from around Southern California and Northern Mexico. To the east lies the Hell Hole Canyon Preserve. This tract of Chaparral Highlands is important to our local ecosystem and features a lookout point and over 13 miles of hiking trails. On a clear day, 
you can see all the way to the ocean. Nestled within the agricultural Palma Valley lies the Palma Reservation with its numerous orange and avocado groves. The name Palma translates as place where there is water. To the south is Valley Center. The largest California grizzly bear in history was captured here in 1866. A smaller grizzly is still on display at the Valley Center History Museum. Grizzly bears no longer live in the San Luis Rey watershed, but it is home to a wide variety of native wildlife. There are many different native species found in this watershed, including coyotes, bobcats, mountain lions, mule deer, raccoons, skunks, possums, the rare ringtail cat, and arroyo toad, naming just a few. There are also red-tailed hawks, golden and bald eagles, roadrunners, and some endangered and threatened bird species, including the California gnatcatcher, the least bells vireo, and the southwest willow flycatcher. The watershed ecosystem supports many different rare vegetation and native plant habitats, such as chaparral, oak highlands, and the southernmost population of the rare big leaf maple tree. All of these animals and their habitats rely on the water in the basin to live, and so it needs to be clean. Bacteria, nutrients, and salts from agricultural and yard runoff need to be monitored and controlled. Additionally, there are many different invasive plant species throughout the watershed that you should avoid planting in your yard, like arundo, tamarisk, and pampas grass. Septic systems in rural areas need to be maintained regularly and working properly since they can impact our groundwater. For over 90 years, five generations of the Bates family have carried on the traditions of the country farm at the Bates Nut Farm. It started out as a walnut farm, but today they sell several types of fresh nuts, candies, fudge, and delights to thousands of visitors each year from all over the globe. To the north lies the Wilderness Gardens County Preserve and the old historic Sickler Grist Mill. Built in the 1880s, the mill was used by local farmers who would pay 30 cents to the Sickler brothers to grind 100 pounds of wheat or corn. To the west lies the Pala Band of Mission Indians. If you visit the reservation, you will find that the Pala Mission was founded in 1816 as part of the trail of Spanish missions along California. You can still find the historic Pala Cemetery next to the old Mission Church. You can also visit during one of the many cultural events to learn more about tribal history in our region, Koopa Days in May or the Powwow in August. 14% of the entire San Luis Rey watershed is used for agriculture. With its great weather and natural groundwater sources, it's the perfect home for numerous fruit orchards and groves. In fact, Fallbrook on the northern end of the watershed, for many years, has been known as the avocado capital of the world. 200,000 years ago, the watershed was home to the giant sloth, saber-toothed cats, dire wolves, and other prehistoric creatures that roamed the lush valley. In 2013, the fossilized remains of an eight-foot-tall Ice Age bison were found during the construction of a freeway on-ramp. The fossil is on display at the San Diego Natural History Museum. Both the surface and groundwater found within the San Luis Rey watershed provides drinking water to the local communities. The city of Oceanside gets 13% of its drinking water from the local groundwater sources, while some of the other communities, east of Interstate 15, get 100% of their water from these same local sources. That's why it's so important to conserve and protect it. Toward the southwest of the watershed lies the beautiful rolling hills of Bonzel. Named after a miner who won a contest, Bonzel is home to the famous San Luis Rey Downs Training Center for thoroughbred racehorses and other equestrian facilities. Several wine vineyards also thrive in the Mediterranean-like climate. At the far west end, where the watershed drains out to the ocean, is the city of Oceanside. 
It's home to the old mission San Luis Rey, established in 1797 and named after St. Louis IX, King of France. Come take a tour of the Missions Museum and find out how a Spanish mission was named after a French king. The old Santa Fe Railroad brought in new customers through the city of Fallbrook to Oceanside, where in the late 1880s they stayed at the South Pacific Hotel and played at the beach. Nowadays, you can take the scenic seven-mile-long San Luis Rey River bike trail along the river down to the ocean. During the Great Flood of 1916, trees from Mount Palomar were washed all the way down to these beaches. It is here where the San Luis Rey River flows into the ocean. The beautiful and historic Oceanside Pier, at almost 2,000 feet long, is one of the longest wooden piers on the west coast. It's perfect for a sunset stroll to wonder at the majesty of the Pacific Ocean. The San Luis Rey watershed is a true treasure of San Diego County. The history and culture of the entire region is intertwined with the water that flows through its heart. This water needs to be protected so that every generation that follows will be able to share in the joy that this land brings. We encourage everyone to get out and explore this beautiful watershed. For more information about this watershed or how to volunteer, visit the San Luis Rey Watershed Council website, Facebook page, or Instagram.